Why do some women look stunning with their hair up but plain with their hair down? And the opposite is true with the others. Basic with their hair up but gorgeous with their hair down. Hi, my name is Chi. Whether you look better with your hair up versus down has a lot to do with facial features, the shape of your face, the proportion between your head and your shoulders, and your height. Now let's dive right in. Is your face more prominent at the bottom half? A narrow forehead and wider jaw give your face the shape of a pear. Flashy face? A typical example is Kelly Osborne. Better with your hair up versus down. This creates volume on top of your head, especially with a voluminous bun. It's a perfect balance for the shape of your face. When you wear your hair down, emphasize the volume at the bottom half of your face. High cheekbones and prominent eyes, most likely you look the best with hair up versus down. Nicole Kidman, Natalie Portman, Kira Knightley. What they all have in common is beautiful high cheekbones. When you wear your hair up, this is bring all the focus to your facial features. So your cheekbones and if you have larger eyes, really stand out. It's not that they don't look beautiful when they have their hair down, but noticeable difference. When their hair is down, their facial feature just doesn't stand out as much. What if you do have higher cheekbones, but your face is rounded like me? Most of the time, I wear my hair down. Any hairstyle that expose your jaws are gonna make your face look even rounder. So that explains why when I have my hair up, whether it's in a ponytail or an updo, my face is completely exposed. It looks even rounder. If I have my hair down, as my hair is long, it creates length and it covers part of my jaw. It's gonna balance out my round shaped face. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench spinning on the back like here I go again. Rounded shape face is very similar to square shape face. The difference is square shape face has more angled jaw lines. Jennifer Aniston, we all know her signature style is American sweetheart longer layer that has her jaw lines. When she wears her hair down, and it's on her face shape, it creates length and also softens her jaw lines. She wears hair up, emphasize her jaw line and doesn't give her any balance to her natural shape. Your face is not the only factor to determine whether you should have your hair up versus down. When you wear your hair down, it actually changes the ratio of your head and your shoulders. If your shoulders are narrow relative to your head, wearing your hair up is a great idea. Because it goes up, it goes vertical, it's gonna give you more balance in terms of the ratio of your head and your shoulder width. When you have your hair down, it's the opposite. Because your hair is horizontal, this can make your shoulders look even more narrow. Vice versa, if your shoulders are broad, the opposite is true. Wearing your hair down is gonna give you more balanced head and shoulder ratio. Jennifer Gardner, she has a very typical broad shoulder, inverted triangle shape. When her hair is down, because it adds volume to her head, this expands her head, and this looks more imbalanced with her broad shoulders. When she wears her hair up, this makes her shoulders look even broader. Your height also matters. If you're shorter like myself, I'm 5'2", having your hair up can add a few extra inches to your height. That is pretty obvious. What is not so obvious that nobody else is talking about is when you have your hair up, that brings focus upwards. If you're short, always bring focus to your face and never want to look bottom heavy. That is the number one rule to dress someone who is petite. Speaking of a short girl who's always wearing her hair up, first person that comes to mind, Ariana Grande. Yes, we all know her signature ponytail. This is part of her identity. I was able to find a couple of weird pictures of her hair down. She looks completely different. I almost couldn't recognize her. Very beautiful facial features and having her hair up in that ponytail really bring all the highlight to her best facial features. On the other hand, when her hair is down, well, don't get me wrong, she is beautiful either way, but when the hair is down because her height, 
She's about 5'1", with such long and darker hair, it's almost like the focus is on her hair instead of on her face. Having your hair up can also change the perceived length of your neck. You might be wondering, Chi, why does this matter? Well, it matters especially if you happen to be shorter like myself. For petite women, generally speaking, we tend to have a shorter neck. And this is pretty obvious on Ariana Grande too. When her hair is up, it elongates, making her neck appear longer. On the other hand, if you naturally have a longer neck and if you want to make them appear a little shorter, then you can have your hair down and this can change the perceived length of your neck. Another major thing for you to consider is your hair volume. This is actually one of my main reasons to always have my hair down. Because my hair is thin to medium volume, sometimes I feel like there's just not enough volume for the ponytail. Now you may be the opposite if you do have thicker and longer voluminous hair, having it up can give you the very luscious ponytail look. I do have another video, what is the best hairstyle if you are short? Watch this video to find out.